what are some notable projects that you've uh, been able to accomplish together? Oh, so Sherry wrote The Faces of Illness. And so for her, that was a really big one because chronic illness, not only does she suffer from it, I think you write what you know, right? Always, right? You do what you know best. And so for her, uh, dealing with chronic illnesses and being able to be a high performer all at the same time was something that was really important to her to be able to fulfill for her life. So I'm Dr. Colin Zhu, I'm the host of Thrive Bites Podcast, and we're here at the Best You Expo in LA, right? The yeah. LA Convention Center. That's right. So please introduce to the audience who you are and what you do. Uh, I'm Leslie Marshall. I uh, am the owner and designer of Building Vegas Beautiful. Um, I am an event planner, uh, destination wedding coordinator. Um, I do staging for real estate and Airbnb. Uh, basically anything to bring your vision to life, it's what I do. Awesome. And why this convention? Why did you decide to show up? Oh my gosh, there's so many opportunities uh, for all of us to come together. Really just that overall positive vibe, um, getting to meet the people that uh, really just want to elevate their life mm -hmm. uh, and go to that next chapter. And you, you know, what I've been hearing most about all the speakers is you can't do it all alone. You know, you can go a little far, but not very far. And so having so many different resources here, I think is just a perfect place to come and capture all of that. That's awesome. There's a, an African proverb, if you want to you know, go fast, go alone. alone. If you want to go far, go together. So what is it for you, personally speaking, that you felt like, okay, you've done you know, enough up until a certain point, but felt like, oh, I need to you know, do this with a team or collaborate with others for me to like really, as your words say, elevate yourself. So Sherry Satello, she is a, uh, she's our basically our resident psychologist amongst all the other alphabets that you could possibly think of, uh, just a seeker of knowledge really, and she's all of our coaches uh, from a business aspect. And so Stoned, um, he does all of the crystals and wellness uh, for mind, body, spirit, and um, GK Management, so that's Garrett, and he owns multiple luxury properties. And we're able to bring um, what would be held at a convention or a hotel really to that luxury home feel um, and just elevate everybody's experiences when it comes to what you're trying to get out of, say, you know, you work for Zoom or LinkedIn and you're looking, looking for that alternative uh, leadership conference style and Sherry puts all that curriculum together. And so I'm boots on the ground, able to make it look beautiful, uh, have everybody's experience go flawlessly and great. Uh, so we work together really as a team. We call ourselves the dream team. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you, uh, what are some notable projects that you've uh, been able to accomplish together? Uh, so Sherry wrote The Faces of Illness. And so for her, that was a really big one because chronic illness, not only does she suffer from it, I think you write what you know, right? Always, right? You do what you know best. And so for her, uh, dealing with chronic illnesses and being able to be a high performer all at the same time was something that was really important to her to be able to fulfill for her life as well as other people. And you hear about it all the time, right? The burnout, the stress, the migraines, um, cancer, right? Mm -hmm. You work so hard. Why are we working so hard? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, the whole life experience uh, is a big one. And so Faces of Illness is her book showcasing all the different people and all the different genres of life, uh, chapters of life too, and how they're able to live their life based on knowledge that they know and how they're able to take care of themselves and find what they're looking for, really. It's mm -hmm. truly an individual experience. And I think for her, when, us, when we all came together and had collective thoughts about what we all wanted, it was just kismet. We all just came together and aligned. Uh, and so we're really here to celebrate her book mm. uh, and everybody else's uh, individual accomplishments, but mostly um, just find a way to all bring something to life truly together. Nice, nice. And for event planning, what is it you know, through this medium that you felt like it fulfills you at the end of the day? Why event planning? Oh, wow. I can mentally manage a thousand things all at once. Really, truly looks like a stovetop to me. Something simmering, something's boiling, something sauteing. You know, you have all the things going on all at the same time in order to really have dinner be ready, 
right at that perfect moment. Yeah. And so that's how, to me, event planning always goes back to food, right? <laughs> um, it's, well, this show is all about food, so. <laughs> exactly. It's all about fulfilling that particular, like, aha moment um, and capturing what someone's trying to, um, you know, do at the end of the day, whether it um, is a birthday, a special birthday, anniversary, mm-hmm. and giving it to someone and saying, I want you to do all these things for me on the back end so that they can actually experience and enjoy their time and knowing that they have a good connection with this said person, me. Mm -hmm. Uh, It could be anyone really, and I'm not the end all be all for everyone. But at the end of the day, I love taking someone's idea and just expanding on it. And then I always just follow through with it from start to finish. And there's a lot of different elements that go into that, right? Uh, I think everybody has their gift. Um, you could be a really good chef, but not really want to go to all the markets. Uh, you could be a really good chef, but not have the nutritional background, right? I, I don't per se like know all about cooking, but at the same time, I mean, I can make a mean macaroni and cheese, but that's not exactly really good for you. <laughs> it, it's about, like you said, like, you know, writing, or in this case, you know, creating what you know, right? So yeah. what is the next step for Sherry? So the next step is to launch her book uh, and really just go in and help other people people with chronic illness be able to navigate our medical system and so that they can have a fulfilling life and everybody wants that you know good energy and ability to think and and flow throughout their day Uh, and I think she just wants to share that and elevate other people's lives Uh, I know that we are looking to connect with other um, homeowners and uh, all over the United States Uh, maybe even a little bit abroad that would be exciting Uh, we'll have to put that team together and be able to just put those leadership retreats together that we've all sat through and worked through and said you know here's your goals as a corporation uh, and here's how we're able to put them together and then see that process and fulfillment within um, the potential to, you know, gain, um, you know, I think for a lot of employees, they're searching and seeking a lot more than before, I would say 2019, maybe even on the cusp of that. Um, but even more so now when we've spent time at home and COVID and everything else, you know, you get this whole other meaning of life per se, and you're like, <laughs> oh, you slow down and you're like, why are we going so fast? What are we really doing? You know, we're just this blue ball floating in the universe. Like at the end of the day, what is it about it for you that makes you thrive? And how can we bring that to life with the different experiences and technical practices that go into that? And yeah, yeah, way beyond team building. Definitely, definitely. Well, um, if people wanted to seek out your services, where can they find you? Uh, You can find us uh, at GK Management. Uh, We're global now, so we just rebranded. Really exciting. Uh, We're at Booth 332. Uh, All our information's there. And uh, you can find me at buildingvegasbeautiful.com. I'm on Instagram, and I just started TikToking. What an experience. (laughs) First of all, you're like, why, why, why? Hilarious and fun. People are potatoes, so you can really just be whatever you want to be, but they are hilarious, and I'm loving it. And so, just creating those stories and putting them out there, I'm having a blast. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you can find me there. That's awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. I love your energy. I'm so glad I came over. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, 